What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm bringing you guys my Crucible slash Iron Banner Shotgun class setup. Now the Iron Banner is here and a lot of you guys are asking me to post videos on the class setups I use. So I'm going to start with my favourite and that is the Shotgun class setup. Now let's just get straight into the video. Now my Shotgun I use is the Secret Handshake. I am actually in love with this shotgun, I really am. Um, there's a lot of benefits to it as well. It's quite easy to obtain and it's just a beast in all round crucible and the iron banner, it really is. Now you actually get this from the Vanguard Quarter Master and I'll show you guys right here, right now. It actually costs uh, 150 Vanguard marks, it costs one crucible commendation and you need to be a Vanguard rank three. It's very, very easy to obtain. If you guys have grind this game in the slightest, you will have enough Vanguard marks to buy it. And it's a shotgun that won't let you down, it really won't. Now, the one I actually own is the exact same as the one you get from the Vanguard Quartermaster. I'm not sure if I actually brought it from them, but it is the same, it really is. I'm going to run you guys through its mods and what I actually used on it. We have Smart Drift Control, we have Accurized Ballistics, and we have Aggressive Ballistics. I go with the Accurized Ballistics, it's the one that gives you slightly more range and impact over the others. We then have Grenade Air Kills, this weapon reduce the cooldown of your grenade. Not a massive mod, not really needed to be honest, but it's better than nothing. We have 1 of 5 damage upgrades. We then have Flared Magwell, Hammer Forged and High Calibre Rounds. Obviously you want to go with Hammer Forged as it improves the range and accuracy. We then have Shot Package. Aim this weapon reduces the spread of its projectiles and it's at, it works wonders, it really does. I mean, you actually hit people at a distance while you're aiming in. Uh, at a distance, you wouldn't think you'd actually hit them with a shotgun. And then we have a further four damage upgrades. Now, I actually rock this shotgun with the fawn as basically the fawn or any other weapon. You can actually go with any primary weapon. I like the fawn because you can pick off enemies before moving in with your shotgun. Or if enemies are at a too far away distance, uh, you can pick them off quite easily with the fawn. It's probably the best all round PvP weapon in the game, in my personal opinion. And then we have as a heavy, I have the against all odds. And this is mainly because of the roller mods I have on it, which I'll show you guys right here. I haven't even fully maxed it out yet. Uh, but we have aggressive ballistics, a smart drift control, and we have fuel choke. You can have higher uh, range and impact with the fuel choke, but I prefer stability, so I've got the smart drift control. We then have counter balance, this weapon has increased stability. We have one of five damage upgrades, and then we have perfect balance also. Shame it don't have fuel scout, but still 26 bullets in a heavy machine gun, which actually has got a quite a slow rate of fire and high impact. You drop people in a couple of headshots, um, and plus when you got the feeding frenzy as well with increased reload speed after a kill it is a great great all round heavy machine gun with great great mods maybe yes it could do field scout but all in all I'm still quite happy with it and I found myself using it over any other heavy machine gun in PvP I really have and class setup, sub class setup I use well it's mainly the reason I made my title mods for PvP as in my opinion they are the best all round class for PvP in all at the Warlock Hunter and Titan I do believe the Titans are the best um, I with my shotgun I use the Striker Titan subclass and I try and maximise armour and agility while running around with my shotgun and I'll run you guys through exactly what I use I use Lightning Grenade, I use Increased Control with the Jump with the Fist of Havoc I use Aftermath with the uh, Storm Fist, I use Amplify. Then we just here basically got try and get as much armor and agility as possible. Titan Codex 2, we have Transfusion, and we have Titan Codex 6. And I also go with Shoulder Charge as well. I mean, this is incredible. It really is running around with a shotgun. That Shoulder Charge comes active and just Shoulder Charging people. It's, it's, just a, it's just a great, great feeling it really is. And I really enjoy it. Now, the armors I use, on my Titan. This is just for the Iron Banner. If I was using Crucible, I would switch to my Mark 44 standard size, but because they ain't fully maxed out yet, and because I don't have a fully maxed out Raid Helmet, I go with the Helmet of Inmost Light for the Iron Banner. But if I was playing Crucible, I would switch to this uh, Legendary Helmet and I would put on my standard sides, just because increases the duration, shoulder charge remains active, although it makes my character look even worse than it already does in his Banana Man suit. But still, these Mark 44 standard size while running around with a shotgun is incredible. But like I said, it does make my character drop down to a level 30. Just giving me a slight disadvantage in Iron Banner, which is why I go with that level 32 and using the Helm of Inmost Light. Which is quite a decent helmet anyway, so yeah, you can't go wrong with it. But guys, that is my shotgun class setup for Iron Banner and Crucible. Um, another thing I will add as well, I do enjoy the fan verdicts. If you guys have got the fan verdicts, it's a weapon you obtain from the Water Glass. 
There is a beastly weapon too, but it only goes to a maximum of 300 at attack. Hasn't quite got the fire rate the secret handshake has. It's got more range and impact, but I still take the secret handshake, especially for Iron Banner. Crucible probably, yes, I'll take the fan verdict. But for Iron Banner, I'll take the secret handshake. But guys, that is my class setup, what I use when I'm shotgunning. Probably my favorite way of playing PvP, besides sitting back and sniping. But guys, if you guys are a shotgunner in PvP and you're grinding the Iron Banner, let me know your class setup down below in that comment section. In the background now is a little bit of PvP footage of me running around with my shotgun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for stopping by as always. Catch you in the next one and peace out until next time. Peace! A single victory doesn't win a war, but it's a good oh. Show them the true meaning of war. Oh. Don't aid long. More efforts like that and we might just win this.